Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is not the magical day. Tomorrow is the magical day. Today's a bonus video. What? I think I owed you guys a bonus video since I took a bit of a break. <laughs> Unintentionally. Um, I was just very overwhelmed with my life at the moment and I just had to take a minute to kind of step back and then I just had so many problems that I kind of went, you know what? Let's just take a minute to refocus and get prepared. I've got a lot going on in my life. So, uh, anywho, that was off topic, wasn't it? Uh, tomorrow starts the VIB Rouge Spring Sale at Sephora. And I know all you people, if you are a true Rougeaholic person, You've already got a cart full. Um, I did back in the fall an entire video of how to shop the Rouge sale or the VIB or the Beauty Insider, whatever level of the tiered levels you are at Sephora, you know. I'm a former Sephora employee and I really struggled to say that. I also just struggled to say Sephora. I'm in a weird place. It's like 10.30 at night. Last fall, I did make an entire video explaining how I shop the Rouge sale, the easiest way to shop it. Now, granted, I'm putting up this video in time for any VIB Rouge shoppers who haven't planned ahead or still trying to debate on what they're getting. I'm sharing with you my wish list items, just because since I already explained to you how I shop the sale, which if I didn't already link it, it's right here, you know. Um, I'm sharing with you guys some of the things that have been in and out of my cart for the past couple months at Sephora, because I haven't placed an order at Sephora since January, December, I my last purchase was my VIB Rouge return. <laughs> I haven't shopped at Sephora yet in the new year. I put things in my cart, I take things out of my cart. Now, if I can edit this video properly, I will have to my left here the products I'm mentioning, if I can edit this properly. I probably can't. It's my left, it's your right, isn't it? This flips, right? <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the physical list of things for the Rouge sale. These are things that I want to get. Obviously, it's going to depend on whether or not things are still available, if they're available in the shades I want, you know, things like that. Who knows? I will still probably do a Rouge sale video. I just, you know, I kind of wanted to share my wish list of things I'm hoping to get my hands on or things that I probably will be buying. I'm just not sure yet. Um, a lot of the stuff, if I can buy at Ulta, I prefer to buy at Ulta, so I'll probably wait until there's another 20% off coupon, which since my birthday's coming up in a few weeks, I think I get one then. Maybe it's 15. I don't, I don't remember what it is. Um, so I'm probably going to be using that, but, you know, things happen and things don't. So, let's start. Um, these are just things that either A, I've seen people using that I've been dying to try, or... Um, things that I've been just wanting to try or be. I was bored and I stalked the new arrival section at Sephora because I have problems and I used to work there and it really sucks that I don't get to see things like three months before they come out because we had that kind of access occasionally. Um, so let's get into this. Let's jump in and let's get through this list super duper fast so that I can end this video and actually have it up for you the day before the sale goes. Shall we? Let's do this. Okay. So the first thing I have on here is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to share this, preface this at the beginning. I am very fair. Hi, could you tell? And I am also mostly normal skin. Right now I'm finally back to kind of normal. Still have a couple of dry patches, but I'm not really oily skinned. I'm definitely more normal. And then in the winter I go really dry because Chicago gets so dry and right now the weather can't make up its freaking mind because it was snowing on Monday morning. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture. I think I tagged it as go home Chicago, you're drunk. Um, it's April 10th and there's freaking two inches of snow on the ground. No, 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 no. And it was 70 today. Like, I, someone needs to tell the Midwest to get its act together because I can't handle this anymore. Um, so I really want to try that mask. I don't remember the specifics of it right now, but it just everything about it, it, if I remember correctly, it's like hydrating, replenishing, nourishing, like everything you want your skin to be. That's technically intended to like revitalize your skin, you know, like plane travel or things like that. I mean, that's my assumption when you call something a jet lag mask. Um, I haven't been doing as much traveling as I want to. I've planned a thousand trips, but I haven't gone on all of them. Um, so I've got some on my list. I've got some I'd like to do, so maybe I'll get to do them in 2018. If I can budget myself right. <laughs> no. 
Um, so next on my list is something that I've wanted for ages. And I just never buy. It's the ABH uh, number 23 brush, the highlight brush. It always looks so pretty and I always want to buy it and I never do. So maybe, maybe I'll finally buy it this time around. Who knows? Um, I also have on here the new Becca powder just because as someone with my skin type, that sounds like a dream powder to me. The hydrate, what is it? Hold on. The Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Sounds amazing. However, I am extremely hesitant. Nobody's mentioned this in any of their review videos of it yet. I mean, I haven't watched a whole bunch. I watched like, no anymore. I watched at least one review, no more than two. One or two reviews on that powder, and they haven't had anything bad to say about it being tinted, because the last two Becca powders I've tried have been tinted and I can't wear them. Um, I should probably buy a new tattoo liner because I think mine's drying up. I was using it today and I had some intense wing struggles going on. <laughs> um, I also really want to try the Ilia True Serum Foundation. Um, I think, I don't know how much it retails for, um, but I know the shade I'm supposed to wear is Formentera. Um, I don't know, it just sounds intriguing. I've never tried anything from Ilia, and yeah, that's why it's on my list. Plus, I feel like I want to do, this is very ambitious of me, I want to do like a 15 days of foundation thing like the Taylor does. I will, I'm not going to link her. I'll link her down below in my description box. Um, I love her 15 days of foundation. I found her during her first series, I think, two years ago, or I don't know. I've been following her for a very long time, um, and I've always wanted to do it. Obviously, I won't call it foundation. Uh, 15 days of foundation. I was trying to think of a better name, but I was wanting to do like 10 days of it I keep putting it off and putting it off and I'm like, you know what? I think in May I'm just gonna do it Maybe I'll do it for the first week of June and like I'll pre-film in May I don't know. I've been thinking about it If you'd be interested in seeing foundation series for me because I've only reviewed a handful of foundations I will link the playlist of those up here um, But yeah, um, so I've got quite a few foundations on this list. Um, I also have the Dior skin forever perfect foundation Apparently my shade is 14 fair almond I don't know. I've never tried a Dior foundation. Not that I can remember at least. Um, so that's why that dude is on my list. Um, the only other foundation I have in my basket, and I want to double check right now while I'm here, but I didn't already buy it because I don't think I did. No, I have not already bought it. I really want to try the Huda Beauty foundation. I never got around to trying it because every time I tried to order it, either A, the two shades I was considering were sold out, or B, I decided I needed something more than that foundation. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the shade 120B, which is vanilla. I was also debating, I think it's 110 Angel Food Cake, I think. I don't know, I'm in between the two pictures because the picture for 110 is a redhead and two is someone with dark hair. And I used to have red hair as a kid. So it was kind of like, oh, I gravitate towards one, but then I went, it's gonna be summer. What if one's too light? So I'm, I think I'm gonna go with 120, I'm not sure. But I've tried to avoid the reviews on that foundation. I know it's supposed to be full coverage because I've read the description of it seven bajillion times. Atticus is trying to play it with my softbox light. Also on this list, uh, I don't think there's any more foundations, right? Nope. Um, I do have the Laura Mercier concealer on here, but again, my concern, <sighs> it has me between one N and one C. I'm probably gonna go with one C just because I am cool toned, shocker. Um, I do also have uh, two products from Smashbox on here. I have the Photo Finish Primer Water in the Coconut and the Green. I don't know which one I wanna get, but I do wanna get one of them because my Smashbox Primer Water is almost out and I need a new one anyway, so I figured I'd try a scented one. If I don't like it, I can always return it and get the original, you know, how it goes. I do also have the Cali Contour Palette in here because the blush in there actually looks like one that I'd be able to wear. A lot of contour palettes, I can't pull off the blush color, but this one looks pretty promising, so I'm kind of interested in trying it out. So maybe. I also have in here one of the new NARS highlighters. Actually, I've got two of them. I have both Capri and Fort de France, and I don't know which one I really wanna do. I'm kind of leaning towards Capri because it's more pink, and I have so many champagne highlights already, but I I'm between both. I put both in my Ulta cart. I'll buy one at Ulta and I'll buy one at Sephora. That'll be my solution here. So we'll add Fort de France to my cart for now and I can always switch that. Also on here I have the Kat Von D I Am Divine palette. I think one, it's awesome that she's bringing Divine back. Not the Divine one, any, well, you know what I mean. You know, I'm a big fan of hairspray, but that's a different issue. Um, 
I, I just no one's talked about it and I really like the tones of the palette, the blue and the green and you know, I've been dying to buy it and you can only buy Kat Von D at Sephora, so 10 bucks, I probably will be buying that palette. Um, also in here, I have quite a few um, skincare products and I feel like for me, the spring beauty sale is always when I purchase skincare. I don't know why. Maybe it's because after the winter, my skin's not as dry and awful anymore and I have so much hope for my skin that I buy all this new crap. Um, not that it's crap, you know what I mean. Um, I realize I'm basically out of beauty oils. I don't have any serums or oils left really. I've used a lot of them up trying to fix my dehydrated, awful winter skin. Um, so I've got a few of my card here. I have the new Farsali Volcanic Elixir in here. I also have the Kula Full Spectrum 360 Degree Sun Silk Drops with SPF 30. Um, I have the Drunk Elephant TLC, um, Sukari Baby Facial. I've been dying to try that for ages, especially since I bought the mini Drunk Elephant kit. Um, I have to double, double, double check. I already checked it, but I want to check again that I didn't get it in that set, but I don't think I did um, because I wanted the night serum at the time, which is the only thing I have and I'm starting to run out. Um, so I think I want to get the Baby Facial, um, but I'm not sure. It's $80. $80. It better be like freaking magic, I swear to God. Um, I've also been dying to try the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mask, and they actually sell both a one ounce and like a three ounce. I'm gonna get the one ounce because it's only like 20 bucks, um, and I say, why not? Because <laughs> I got problems. I also have the Bosha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask in here. Um, I've just, I've had so many breakouts lately. It's been really, really bad, guys. Like, I don't know where they're coming from. I, th I think they're all stress-related, to be completely honest. Um, so I'm putting that in my cart, potentially, to fix my breakouts. Um, I also have the Kiehl's Since 1851. They're daily reviving concentrate. And I have seen Victoria from In The Fro. Um, I'll link her channel down below. She's another one of my favorite YouTubers that I follow. She's adorable. She's so British. I love her. Um, she is gorgeous and her skin is my goal in life. And she um, uses this. I've seen her mention it in a lot of her travel vlogs and I'm like, that's what I need. Um, I do also have in my cart the Origins Glow So Good set. I do already own the serum in it, but I want to try out the other items in that set. However, my concern is the moisturizer is for matte skin, like mattifying your skin, which isn't really how I float, but we'll see. Um, I also have the Laneige Vitamin Brightening Cleansing Water. Um, I just, I haven't tried a cleansing water in ages, and I want to try something new, and this one's only $24, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Um, and the last thing in my cart here is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo. Um, Brianna Fox, I will list her down below, um, is another person I follow. She's also from the Chicago area like me, and she uses it to help keep her hair from getting brassy. And while I love my Matrix Purple Shampoo, the problem is because my hair is so light right now, when I wash my hair with that, it temporarily stains it purple till it fades. So I can't be using it as often as I want to to neutralize the brassiness because it's dyeing my hair purple because I've got straight up pieces of hair that are white. Like the white is strong in my hair. So yeah, that's kind of everything in my Sephora cart. Everything that I'm thinking about getting, debating about getting, all that jazz, you know. Um, obviously I'll be doing a haul. I'm probably going to go twice, once during the first weekend, once during the second weekend, because inevitably I will watch someone else's haul and go, God, why didn't I get that? I'm an idiot. I will not be buying the Natasha Denona palette. Um, I was just really sad and upset about the Sunset palette and I didn't, it didn't live up to my expectations. So I don't want to buy the one, the new one, what's it called? The, um, the Tropic palette. It looks pretty. Mm, I don't need it. Um, I really don't need any more eyeshadow palettes. That is it. Tell me down below what you guys are definitely buying during the sale, whether you get to shop this first weekend or next weekend. Um, Rouge starts the 13th through the 16th. Everyone else can begin shopping on the 20th through the 23rd. Y'all know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, you should hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because I swear to God, I'm going to not miss a video now. Now that I've had that time, I'm gonna do my absolute freaking best not to miss. Although I cannot guarantee the week that I'm moving because 
do so Jesus my brain hurts already um, leave me your questions comments concerns suggestions for this video and future videos that you want to see on my channel down below I love to read comments I love comments they don't actually do anything for the video but they make me happy to know that people you know take the time to make it all the way through to hear me tell them to leave the questions comments concerns suggestions below so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye please forgive me because I got issues you got to Get them on me and I can find you. Let's get the glory on problems. And we got the kind of love that tastes so worth. Okay, before we go any further, I just want someone else to have a witness to how my cat sleeps, I swear to God. Look at him. He is legit in a corner, sleeping like that, with a leg up. Addy Caddy, Monsieur, Atticus, are you even alive? He's like, oh, I'm busted, bitch. Who sleeps like this? Usually he sleeps with his face in the corner where that paw is right now. My cat's just weird.